Hello folks, how's it going? Trizic here. And I'm here to show you how to do the Super Saiyan 3 transformation mode created by Loris Kankini. Now there seems to be some confusion in the comments below and I'm getting messages and stuff about people not being able to install it. So I'm not sure if this is just for the herb mod or is this for the black lines in general. So, <coughs> sorry about that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to do both in this video. It's really simple, really straightforward and uh, hopefully we'll get this problem sorted out for all of you. So, let's start off with the hairstyles. This is just a normal from the Super Saiyan, you know that. Anyway, let's look at the Super Saiyan 3s. This is the Super Saiyan mod I used in my previous video. He has the standard Super Saiyan hair, but in any color I wanted. And he transforms into Super Saiyan 3. I just think this is my uh, favorite because of the appearance overall. I mean, it just looks better in my opinion. This is a normal Goku to Super Saiyan 3, and this is uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 3, I guess. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is go take these mods, even the eyebrows, because you want that official eyebrow look of the Super Saiyan. And uh, I'm going to drag them into here, get rid of the previous thing. Alright, so here we go. What I'm going to do is, uh, you get to choose what her style slot it goes into. I like it to go in the first one so I want to do that. I'm gonna do zero, zero, and of course zero again. Oh big surprise, zero again. Anyway so here we go. This will allow it to go into slot one. I don't know why but in her styles the number before the actual slot number on the hairstyles is what it, it changes. So slot zero here changes slot one in game. But anyway, so that's the hairstyle ready to go into the game into the hum folder. I will show you that after I show this next part. Anyway, so to get rid of the black lines, that will allow um people to actually play. You need the emm x mll. Now to get that is also simple. In here, in here, see? Libs Universe Master, bin, and there it is. Right there. You can drag this anywhere you want, it'll still work. So I dragged into this own folder for the purposes of showing you people how to do it. So, here's the tool I need. And here's the file I need. EMM files. They are the ones that you change. Now, to do this, Practically, you will need Notepad++. That is a free application you can download online. No problems there. I've done it, I use it, and it is great. So, you open up your EMM file with the edit Notepad++. And I've already done that. Oh, it's sorry, that's, that was my bad. Whoops. Sorry. Drag it into the EMM XML file first. And then it will create an XML document of an EMM. This is what you need. You open this part with the Notepad++. And here we go. These are all just uh, previous files I used. So you can open more than one file up in here like this. So if I had more than one XML document, I just open them all at once. Now to see the thing is, to do this, you can use a batch to, uh, like a not batch, uh, sorry, a command tool using CMD command console and then you can do all this at all the mods at once however I did not know how to do that I'm afraid, Lord Kangini can do that, he has a tutorial on his but this is just for people who don't understand that you see you'll have to drag the EMM file one by one into uh, this here application to create the, the XML document so even if I was to take, say, one of the eyebrows, either of their EMM files, I would also need to drag that in separately. And this could take you a lot if you time, if you have a lot of mods and stuff to do. So anyway, there's my uh, EMM file ready for editing, and it's up here. Now this takes a few bit of editing. Find what? This will look for the attribute it needs to change in the coding, and I will put this in the description by the time I'm done editing here and uh, this is what it will replace I will also put the replace uh, coding in this 
in the description, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, so once that's in, just replacing all open documents. Two occurrences have been replaced, that's what I'm looking for. That means it has found what I wanted and replaced it with what I wanted. And that's pretty good. And once that's done, you just hit save. And that will save the file. Then you just redrag this into the EMM XML. This will repack it into an EMM. And as you can see, it is 10 to 4 in the afternoon nearly for me. And it is updated to that time, which shows you the file you have updated. So, with that all done, we are ready to install the mod for the her. Anyway, hum. So, people must be getting confused at this part. There is no saying her style. Well, we're editing this mod folder right here because humans and sands, they were the same stuff, the same size. You know, so they only made it as one file, not as hum. So, your humans' her styles will also change, so they'll now be able to transform. So here it is, you just simply drag and drop, look at that, that's it in. So once it's in like this, you just go back to your Dragon Ball Xenoverse and then pack datapad3 which is what I have put the mod in and it is going to pack it. And there we go, that is packed. And now, well, that's it, pretty much the mod complete. I mean, you just need to repeat the same process for whatever eyebrow slot you want, you know, find which eyes you like, then replace those ones. Simple enough. And then with that done, just run the game.